think China will be fascinating. Three cities in two weeks in a country you've never been to before is a huge deal. It's fast. This trip confirms my belief in global connectivity. I had 11 students and I got to see China through their eyes. China is a very ancient country. Let's see how the old East and the new West can be more understandable to each other. The goal of the study abroad is to explore culture and education in China. We're experiencing three very large cities, but all three cities are very different. Shanghai, everyone knows, is almost like New York on steroids and then moving to Suzhou, called the Garden of the East. And then you've got Beijing, which is the center of the government. And there's so much rich history there. I'm pretty much going in blind. I am depending on their English. <laughs> I saw a thing online, it was like, if you learn this many characters every day, you can know all the characters in two years. And I'm like, two years? I have like two weeks. <laughs> I'm excited. I am open-minded. I'm going to just try to take each moment at a time to not get too overwhelmed by all the changes and differences. I'm hoping to just be in the moment. The person-to-person -person interaction is the most important thing. And it's just something truly amazing to see. The people are just so nice and welcoming. I want to come into it with a sense of humility and a genuine curiosity. Shanghai just has so many people. I'm going to go back to Wake County and be like, where is everybody? Like. <laughs> The moment where you can get to a really high up place and look out and seeing the whole city and seeing it just go and go and go and I couldn't find the end of any of the city, it was just buildings. And you just realize like each and every one of those little dots has like their own individual life and story and complexity. That's real, whether I can understand it or not. It's hard to remember at night things that happen at breakfast, like that's how much we're doing. My main thing, I want to see the Great Wall, that's all I'm focused on. I really want to see that. We can do this. Absolutely. Perseverance. Yeah. Balance. <laughs> A little bit of mojo. <laughs> I've read a lot about like how it was created and how many lives were lost. It's almost like sacred ground. I really like Chinese food. I'm really interested in going into the classrooms. The students are able to observe classes as well as teach a class with a partner teacher. I'm excited to meet the kids. I'm a little nervous about coming up with a lesson plan. Getting this experience really helps me learn about strategies and activities that I can incorporate in my future classroom. Hopefully they play basketball like me. I'm gonna be looking for basketball courts. <laughs> Chinese kids are good. They have some nice moves. <laughs> Being able to go to the tea house and have like a traditional tea ceremony 
was really special. That was probably the moment, more than anything, where it felt like you were in ancient China. It just seems like very spiritual, very personal. This experience has taught me flexibility, adaptation. Great people to be on a two-week study abroad with, a lot of fun. People who have been willing to reflect deeply and people who have been really very willing to experience this and support each other while we're doing it.